Greetings, everyone. A very warm welcome to another edition of Exhausted to Extraordinary, a mindset hack series with me, Dr. Sharon Grossman. Today, I'm joined by Clint Ober. A very warm welcome to you, Clint, from Miami Beach. And where are you hanging out? Uh, right now, I'm in uh, Palm Springs, California. Ooh, that sounds nice. <laughs> similar, similar, yes. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking palm trees and sunshine. Yeah. It is. That's what it is. That's what it is. Love it. And mountain. Well, well and from mountain. one area of palm trees to another. <laughs> yeah. This Very one's got mountains. <laughs> Very cool. So, you know, normally, Clint, when I do this show, I've I introduced my guest and I have a pretty short bio that I introduced them with because I want to get to kind of the meat of it and then you have an opportunity to answer these questions. But I'm really making an exception for you because you have such a fascinating story that I really wanted people to hear the whole thing. All right. So here we go. People, okay. if you don't know Clint, he's the CEO <laughs> of Earth FX Inc., which is a research and development company located in Palm Springs, California, where he lives. He first learned of grounding, which is what he really specializes in, when he was installing cable TV systems in Billings, Montana, in the early 1960s. A decade later, he formed Telecrafter Corporation, and he built it into the largest provider of cable installation services in the United States. This company specialized in proper grounding of cable installations for safety and TV signal stability. In the 1980s, he turned his attention to the developing computer industry and partnered with McGraw-Hill to distribute live digital news services via cable to PCs. This led to the development of the first cable modem and an increased awareness of the need for proper system grounding. Following a health challenge in 1995, he retired and embarked on a personal journey looking for a higher purpose in life. During his travels, he noticed people wearing plastic and rubber-soled shoes that insulate the body from earth. He wondered if no longer being naturally grounded could affect us. And this question led to an experiment that suggested grounding alone reduced chronic pain and improved sleep. Thereafter, he developed a working hypothesis. Earth grounding the human body normalizes functioning of all body systems. Corollary, the body utilizes a, the, the Earth's electrical potential and free electrons to maintain its internal electrical stability for the normal functioning of all self-regulating and self-healing systems. Now, over the past 20 years, he supported a host of research studies in Earthing Institute that collectively demonstrate that grounding alone reduces inflammation and promotes normal functioning of all body systems. Now, if this sounds intriguing, listen up because in just seven minutes, Clint is going to share with you how to get grounded and feel better fast. Clint, your seven minutes start now. And question, right. <laughs> question number one, what are the biggest challenges your ideal client faces? Uh, first of all, accepting it, uh, understanding, believing it, uh, because we've been taught for years and years that we have to take, you know, eat blueberries or we do this, whatever, to reduce inflammation in our bodies. And, our, you know, it's, it's all been tied around diet and so on. So the biggest challenge I have is to <clears throat> get people grounded, get them outdoors, get their shoes off, put their hands and feet on the bed, on the ground, and then to spend 15 to 30 minutes and notice the change that begins to occur in their body. But educating and teaching, you know, the, uh, this is so, un, uh, you know, it's just out in left field compared to what we all know and believe and what we have been sold over the last 50 years. Right. So people are walking with these rubber sole shoes or their plastic shoes, and you mentioned that they might have some inflammation. What are the typical symptoms maybe outside of that that they experience with that problem? That's question number two. Well, <clears throat> inflammation, first of all, uh, almost all modern health disorders uh, or health challenges are inflammation based. For instance, if you have pain in your body, you, you have inflammation because 
pain is an is a byproduct of inflammation. You have the inflammation oxidizing healthy tissue, or you know, creating um, fire in your body, and so it's create it's sending a pain, and that pain is a message to the brain. You know, get me out of here, fix me, do whatever. But it doesn't realize that the body is no longer grounded, and so the chronic inflammation just goes on and on and on. And it all started in 1960. Before then, we were barefoot or we wore um, our leather sole shoes. And since then, we have migrated 100% to synthetic sole shoes. Right. Okay. Question number three, what are the common mistakes they make when they're trying to solve their problem? Um, first of all, we've the biggest problem that everybody, from my experience in 20 years of doing this, the biggest challenge we all have is we don't have a guide where we have the doctors, we have the, you know, all the treatments and all of the, you know, the remedies that are available to us. And they're all necessary in many cases, but in some cases you have to stop and look and say, uh, you have to look to nature first. And a, and a prime example is if you look to the wild, the animals who live in the wild, like the uh, antelope, deer, coyote, fox, rabbits, you name it, their health, uh, <clears throat> Cancer does not exist in that population of, of the wild animals. But yet all of the animals who live indoors with their owners, they manifest the same health disorders as their mm -hmm. owners. The animals who live in the wild are grounded 24-7. The animals that live indoors with their owners, many of them are, are rarely ever grounded. And they have a death rate of 50% from cancer, same as their owners. Wow. What an amazing point. Okay. So three minutes, 47 seconds. And question number four is what would be an example of a transformation that's possible after this challenge is properly diagnosed? Well, if you put your bare feet on the ground, put your hands on the ground and sit there for 15 to you know 30 minutes, what happens? The first thing that happens is your blood viscosity normalizes. That means the thickness of your blood, it normalizes. And now it can get in and out of the capillaries and reduce inflammation, your color comes up, your energy comes up, your demeanor changes, and you feel better fast. Yeah, cool. So everybody go out and try it for 15 minutes and let well, us know yeah, how it goes. That's, All right, question. That's the, object, that's, that's the objective of, of this, why I get on and do yeah. these shows is to get people, get people outdoors and get their shoes off. 100%. So two minutes, 55 seconds. And question number five is what is the number one mindset hack you could give your ideal client to solve their problem? Well, if it's inflammation, mm -hmm. uh, there's two things feeding inflammation. One is we're no longer naturally grounded. But uh, the, the, the inflammation that we have in our bodies is generally produced by our fight or flight system or, or you know, maintaining living in a chronically elevated sympathetic state. And, and, and um, elevated levels of cortisol. And the cortisol creates anxiety, irritability, and can lead to depression. And um, so if you get grounded, the first thing you do is you put the fire out, reduce the inflammation, then all of a sudden you start feeling better. And then your energy starts to come back. And then you can get up and go and move and, and, and feel better. Because when you're dealing with pain, you're, it, it's really a challenge. For sure. So one minute, 56 seconds left. And question number six is what is one valuable free resource that you can direct people to that will further help with that problem? Okay. I, I can, I can guarantee that anybody who has an inflammation related health disorder, that's anything from autism to lupus, to MS, to cancer, to diabetes, to cardiovascular disease. These are all known uh, in the literature as you know, their inflammation related health disorders, meaning the immune system is compromised because it's spending all of its time fighting the inflammation rather than maintaining and sustaining health. So if you will go outdoors and spend, you know, 30 minutes with your bare feet and your bare hands on the earth, and hopefully with a little bit of sunlight, maybe not indirect, because we don't get sunlight anymore. We live in houses now and we lose our sunshine. And so, but in between grounding and inflammation, just sit in the earth, and then in 30 minutes, you're going to be a different person. And if you'll do that routinely, and especially before you go to bed at night, then it's going to change your life. It's, it's just because you, as soon as you get grounded for 30 minutes, it puts the fire out. It drains all the inflammation out of your body. You cannot have inflammation in a grounded object. You cannot have inflammation in a grounded body. You can't mm -hmm. have inflammation in a grounded cable system. 
or a computer or anything else that's grounded. So Awesome. And I know that you have an award-winning film, so I will share with the folks the link to watch that. It's available to you for free. And in 25 seconds, we have question number seven, and that is, okay. what's the one question I should have asked you but didn't that would give great value to our audience? Well, I don't know what that question is. I think you did pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> All uh, right. I could go on. I could go on and on, but it's really about uh, you know, getting grounded and getting the inflammation out of your body and uh, getting your mental, get, getting mentally grounded, you know. Yeah. And it's such an important topic. Thank you so much, Clint, for being here with us and sharing your message. And if you're listening to this, definitely go watch his movie and start going outside and getting grounded because we need a lot more of that in our lives. Especially our children. <laughs> All right. Thanks again, Clint. Namaste. Thank you. Thanks for checking out the Exhausted to Extraordinary podcast. If you like what we do here, head on over to iTunes to subscribe, like us, and leave us a review. It is very much appreciated. And if you're feeling burned out and want to challenge yourself, take the seven-day burnout to your best life boot camp. Go to sevendayburnoutchallenge.com to join for free. <music>